Okay, so I've put on all of my piers going around the building. Now I want to put the columns uh, in the interior. And so looking at the uh, floor plan there that we have, you can see quite clearly where the columns are. There are a few missing that have uh, probably been removed for a void area or something like that. But most of these grid intersections do have a column. I'm going to show you one of the best tools in Revit for placing things quickly. When you go to the column tool, just uh, click on the down arrow underneath column and make sure you use structural column. It won't work with architectural, so you need to use structural column. So I'm just going to switch quickly back to the plan so I can check that measurement. I thought it was 400, yeah. Okay, so again, under column, structural column, and then I'm going to go to load family, and then again you need to remember when you're using structural columns, you don't go to the columns folder, you go to structural columns in the library. So I'm going to double click there. Uh, what sort of columns do you think they are? Concrete, concrete exactly. Yep. So they're not wood, they're not steel. Yep, definitely concrete. And so then uh, you've got a uh, concrete, concrete square column. And when you open that, you can look in the sizes there to see what you're given. We don't have 400, so I'm going to go to Edit Type, Duplicate. My new name's going to be 400 by 400, mil. And then I can just change that dimension B to 400. Click OK. Then, a couple of little tricks as well to help you when you're working with structural columns. You'll see that the default option is to set a depth. Right, so just remember that. This comes up every time and most people will forget this. So there you need to make sure you change depth to height. Just the first time after that it'll remember. You don't know why it might be set to depth instead of height. Okay, think about the people who, who de uh, design the structure. Right? Engineers do that work and they start below the ground floor. So they need to put things in with a depth usually as their starting point, but you will never need to do that, or almost never. So that should be your first step. When you place your first structural column, just force yourself to remember that you set that option to height or you will not see your columns at all. And then I'm going to set the level there to roof. Now I'm going to use this at grids option. So using that at grids button, now I'm going to click and drag inside the building. So notice how I'm going over all of the grid lines except for the first and the last grid in each direction. Right, so notice how A and, uh, and what is it, H, and then 1 and 10 aren't being selected. Right, so just to make that clear, I started up in that top right uh, quadrant and then going down to the bottom left quadrant. That means I don't select the first and the last grid lines. Just getting the interior grids. Otherwise we'll get columns on the outside of the building. And there we are. All the Columns done in one hit. How quick is that? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll finish it and then I'll undo it and do it again. Okay, so I'll just undo and repeat that. Yes, yeah, tick to finish, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll do all of that from the beginning. So again, under the column um, menu or the button under column, go to structural column, load family, go to structural columns. Concrete, concrete square column, open, and then edit type, duplicate, type in 400 by 400 mil. Just concrete square at the bottom of the list. Yep, yep. Okay, so I've just given that new name and then changed that dimension. There's only one dimension you can change. Make it 400. Yeah, yeah. And 
then again, don't forget, change the depth option to height. And then the level to roof. Now it's all set up, ready to go, and I can click at grids. And then click and drag inside the building so that I'm crossing over all of the grid lines that are interior, but not any of the outside ones. So that's it, tick to finish. Now I'm going to go back to the ground floor with image and delete any that aren't required. Now it's hard to see because the columns are covering the image. So a good option there is to go back to wireframe and then you'll see really clearly which columns aren't needed. So I can delete these. Yep. Yep. So these as well can be deleted. That may not even be right. Again, this floor plan does have some inaccuracies. We can always put those columns back later if we need to. But otherwise, you can see there, all the columns done. And because that was so easy, I'm going to show you then how to get the floors done at the same time. And, uh, and that will be more than enough for today but we can easily copy the floors up. So I'm going to simply use floor architectural, pick walls, and I'm going to pick all four walls. I'm not worrying about the floor type at all. Yep, the inside face of each wall. Mail looks just so I can show you that option to copy. So my floor is still selected. I'm going to go copy to clipboard in the clipboard panel over here. Uh, you've got a tick to finish. Yep. Yep. And now I can click on the menu under paste, go align to selected levels, and simply click and drag over every level except I'm going to leave out basement and ground floor. Click OK. Into my 3D view. And there we are, you can see. Floors. Yep. So that may, may end up being a flaw because with the parapet coming up, you do have the potential there to have a, uh, an open uh, deck or floor space. If it's not, we can change it to a roof later. It's fine. So um, the main thing there is if we look in the section view, we might have to just expand it to see, but once that is dragged out, you can see the whole building there has a structure. And you don't need to do this next thing, but uh, if you want to see inside, you can make a camera view. There we are. So that's right, it's the office building <laughs> uh, standard having this, this sort of structure. Yep. So, okay, so to copy the floors. Yep. So I'll just select one again. Okay, so here, copy to clipboard. And then under paste, align to selected levels. Yep. And then just click and drag over everything from level one down. And that's it, and then just click OK. That's it. Just click OK, and it'll go through all the way. So that's plenty for today.